Hi everybody, it's Kristen and I have a haul for you guys today. Uh, I am, this actually I think is the first video you've seen. I, I've started a Four Looks One palette, but you haven't seen one in a while. Um, I had pre-recorded a whole bunch and thankfully I did that because then I got really sick <laughs> with some sort of a respiratory infection of some sort. Anyway, I'm on the mend, but I don't sound exactly like myself if you're wondering why. That is why. So, I'm not sure if this is going up on Thursday or Friday, but either way, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale is now available to everybody, not just card holders. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. I ended up not actually getting any of the beauty things this year, yet. It's possible it could happen, but what I'm going to do is I will link the beauty page for you below so you can go and see kind of what they have. There are a couple things that were of interest to me, a um, couple things not so much, but anyway, I will link that below in case you're interested. What I ended up getting is what I normally do is a few clothing items. And the reason that I like the Nordstrom sale is because it's not just on like summer things. They have tons of things on sale and things coming up for the um, next season, so fall, winter. So, I will show you guys what I got and kind of tell you what I think so far. So the first thing that I purchased, and this is from Sejour, that's S-E-J-O-U-R, and I love this color. Obviously, this is one of my favorite colors of life. And this is just your basic cardigan. This was some sort of a cashmere blend, and it feels, it feels soft, and I think I will, I, I know I'll get lots of use out of it. My only concern, I can't tell with this particular material, sometimes I feel like materials that feel like this will pill, but I don't know that I've ever had anything with cashmere in it, so cashmere better not pill, I'm just saying. All right, the next thing I want to show you is this. You guys, this is so soft. I cannot wait to wrap myself up in this in this uh, cardigan. So this is from Barefoot Dreams, and it's from their Bamboo Chic Light line. I don't know. So it's just a cardigan, and hopefully, as I'm doing this, I'm showing you pictures of the models wearing them because it'll give you a better idea. But this is a cardigan that comes down and is rounded at the front. Again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. But do you see that? Do you see that there's a pocket in that? That's delightful. I love me pocket. I cannot explain to you how soft this is. I cannot even explain it. So soft. Nice. It'll be great with leggings. I mean, just, oh, I'm really happy with that purchase. And the next one is, this is, this is really cool. So this is kind of an army green and it's kind of that material, but it's a little bit thinner. So it will be nice when you're kind of, some of those fall days where it starts out a little bit cooler, but then gets a little bit warmer. At least that's what happens here in Wisconsin. Um, but this is, this jacket is kind of has this roughly front to it versus like a straight basic like military front. And it also has a tie on the inside of here. So it will, it, you can cinch it so it doesn't give you like no shape. You can cinch it and give it, give you some shape. I really, really like this. And this is by the brand Caslon, I think, C-A-S-L-O-N. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. And this has sleeves that are long, but I'll probably push those up to three quarter length, but I love this. I think it's so cool. And then the last thing that I got, I was very much in sort of a cardigan-y style that day, is also by Barefoot Dreams. I didn't even realize that. And it's that same bamboo chic light line. And this is also very, very, very soft. And it's an ombre cardigan. I wish I could remember what that's called, where it comes down in the front more to a point, like a handkerchief stuff. I don't know. You're seeing a picture here, here, somewhere. Um, very, very pretty. Like I said, ombre's down. This will be great with leggings or with jeans. For those of you that wear skinny jeans, it would look nice with skinny jeans. Um, I'm really excited about this as well. So lastly I got a pair of boots really they're booties not boots and these are from Franco Sarto I've had good luck with um, his line in the past and these kind of have a zipper on each side have just a little bit of a heel and that's what I wanted I wanted a black boot that had just a little bit of a heel um, you can kind of see and it gives you I don't want to be wearing like heel heels all day long I just Every day, all day, not my idea of a good time. So I have a pair of brown boots that I've worn for a couple of years now, or booties, I should say, that have worn really well, and they have the same kind of heel. And I like that just a little, lift you up just a little bit, especially in snow and that sort of thing you don't want to be. So I will spray these down. I have a weatherproofing spray that um, anybody that lives in Wisconsin or in, in another land of ice and snow is familiar with. And then these will be good to go. And they have a nice rubber bottom. So I'm excited about these. 
really cute, nice little style. So those are all the fashion-y sort of things. Normally I keep those to the end, but for some reason today I'm grabbing a towel. Um, I wanted to do, do those right away. Okay, guys, on to the makeup things. I know that this video is going to be long because this is kind of some things from June and July, so um, what, what are you going to do? Maybe you're watching on the weekend with a cup of coffee. If so, happy weekend to you. Um, all right, the first thing I want to show you guys is that I did purchase the Wayne Goss Airbrush, I think is what it's called. So it looks like this. I have to tell you that it looks, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now that I've seen it used more from when I originally purchased it, uh, it, it seems more true to size, I think, but it is pretty, it is fairly small. And he calls it the buffing brush. I really, I don't know about this brush. I'm still playing with it. I cannot decide. I mean, I've, I've never met a Wayne Goss brush that I didn't like. And so I'm not saying I don't like it, but I'm not really sure I understand the purpose of it. I have used it to kind of, you know, do powder here, here, like kind of more spot powder, but I'm still playing with that one. So one other sort of random-y thing that doesn't really, I guess I have one other thing that doesn't really fit into any other store category is the Clio Gel Presso Liners. I had purchased two of these from that um, store in Union Square in New York City when I was there for IMAX. And I liked those so well. There's rare, weird editing here. It's because I'm drinking coffee, so I don't cough on your cough in your faces. Uh, I, I like them so well that I wanted to get a few more. Well, they showed up on Holt Look one day and a lot of you had let me know. You tweeted me Instagram, that sort of thing, to let me know that the highlight that I love so much. Um, oh, I should have worn that today. I'm all mad on my face today. That they were on there. And so I, I did not buy another highlight, but what I did buy was three more of the liners. So what I got was Star Purple, Dark Choco, and Chic Navy. And like I said, I already have two other ones of these, and I need to get these off right away while I'm talking to you, because otherwise they'll be there forever. The I really like these. They stay put. They're so nice. And I guess they have a little bit of sparkle in them, but nothing that's ever bothered my eye. Uh, and I just, I really like them. So I picked up a few more of those when they were on Hot Look. All right. A couple drugstore things. I... Picked up the L'Oreal Infallible, I picked it up. I purchased the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I got the shade in 202 Creamy Natural. Kirsten and I will be doing a combined video on that, but not for a little bit. And, because I have a foundation problem, I grabbed the True Match Lumi Cushion. I've not tried any cushion. I bought that in N2, sorry for the glare on that. I bought that in N2, which is what I have worn in the past in the regular True Match foundation. Lastly, I got the palette in the Blushed Nudes from Maybelline. I've heard so much back and forth about this, and I don't know, I just was really drawn to it one day, and so I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and, and grab it. I've only done a couple of looks. This will be a future four looks, one palette, but I have a couple of those backed up as well that I need to work on. Speaking of, let me grab this. One of the things that I got at Ulta was the Lorac Pro 3. I am working on four looks, one palette with this. I did only do one look so far. I am not impressed with this at all. I mean, I'm only one look in. This, this medallion shade, like, I, I can't, there's like nothing that, I'm so sad, like that, and look at what I had to do to try to get, no, they aren't all like that, but I'm really disappointed that that one is like that, and I don't know, they seem to kick up more dust than, I, I'll save my review for my four looks one pal, that is the one I'm looking on and should, or that I'm working on and should be one of the next couple of videos that you see. I also purchased the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. I really wanted to support her. So I'm sure you guys have all seen this a bajillion times. I've not used this at all. Again, I've heard mixed reviews on this. Um, I, I think it was Sippy Sippy that I swatched in the store, and I was like, oh, that seems very nice. So let's just do, we're going to do some, oh, that one looks nice too. So this is Big Baby, Sassy Bun, and Sippy Sippy. So that's one swipe of them each they look it looks pretty good but like I said I've heard I've heard mixed reviews so also four looks one palette in the making there I'm saving Sephora for the last because I have the most of from there I did go ahead and get another at, um, of the it cosmetics bye bye makeup three-in-one cleansing balm I did really like this a lot for removing makeup at night so I, I got another one of those and then this my friends this just came yesterday. 
Um, I, I ordered this, one of these for me and one for my friend Tika because this has been out of stock forever, forever and ever and ever. And I just think it's genius. So I understand why it was out of, out of stock. And I have a feeling Jacqueline Hill probably talked about it at some point, which is another reason why it was out of stock forever. But so this is from Morphe and it's this square box sort of thing, but it opens up flat and holds brushes. Genius for travel. Genius for me. I, I, I say that I am a makeup artist very lightly with quotes. Um, I do makeup here and there for um, some friends and referrals and that sort of things for um, generally for weddings around here. And when I'm just grabbing a, when I'm just doing like one or two sort of clients, I don't have a brush belt or anything like that. I do have a brush roll, but I just think this would be so much easier for that and for my own travel. I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. Months. I waited for this to come, come back in stock. Months. All right. So many of you know, I did end up returning the Jaclyn Hill palette and I felt badly about that because I wanted to support her. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I, I just, I didn't feel like the quality was very good. The eye palette for sure went back and... At any rate, when I saw that the split pans were coming, I was like, good, another opportunity. I can support her that way. So I did go ahead and get two of them. I got one with a Prosecco pop in it and one with a Champagne pop. So the first one that I have here has Champagne pop and Hyacinth. And I will show you those. My, my only thing with these, you guys, is that now that one swatched better that time. I don't know, I kind of, so there it is there. I feel like the blushes aren't the same as like my flower child that I've had and loved forever. I don't know, I could be wrong. And then the other one that I got was in Prosecco Pop and Pamplemousse, and Pamplemousse was in that palette. And I did like it. There it is. Yeah, I just feel like you have to, there, there they all are together. I'm gonna try to, hopefully that, my window isn't, isn't um, washing that out. But, I don't know. I just feel like the blushes are not the same as their other blushes. And I don't know why that is. I might have picked up another one when I was there. Let's see what's in my Sephora bag, shall we? So, first off, when the Vice lipsticks came out, do you guys remember um, when I did the Four Looks and Palette with Gwen Stefani and how I was all over rock steady, the little sample that came with that? And then when I went to buy it, it was gone? Well, that is the only lipstick that I've purchased thus far from the new Vice lipstick line. I got that immediately. I was like, yes, please. Sign me up for that. And that is rock steady. <clears throat> it's a cream finish. I already have Firebird, and now I have that. And I bought Firebird in like one packaging like this. So anyway, when I went online, I thought, well, let's just see if they have liners to go with those. And they still had them in the Gwen packaging. I'm not sure if they still do or not, but they were on sale. And I think they were at least 6 or $7 less, if I remember right. So I got Rocksteady and then I got Firebird since I have that, you know, have that lipstick. I was wearing that in a video not too long ago. So those are the liners. I wanted to just mention that if these are still available, grab them at the reduced price. So something else I got while I was at Sephora, I was try you know, I'm trying to put a little more color into my world. So I grabbed one of their liners in Violet. Let me just see what this is. No Shrinking Violet, which is a little liner like this. And it looks like that. And man, this stays really well. It's a really pretty addition kind of to your lower lash line or your lower water line. And then a friend of mine picked, me, picked this out for me. And I've not worn this yet. But I will. This is in Limeade. It's the color, Colorful Shadow Liner. And again, I just want to play with some, you know, color my lower lash line and that sort of thing. I might put this all over my lid. It could happen. Because I ended up liking that purple one so much and it was so, like, waterproof. The next time I was in there, I grabbed the one in black because I want to see if this stays in my waterline as well as the Marc Jacobs because that would be a much less expensive option to the Marc Jacobs. We shall see. The Marc Jacobs has, I think, 0.5 grams of product, and this has 0.3 grams of product, but this is in Queen of the Nile. I, it was funny when I went in there, I grabbed this for some reason. I don't know. People have been talking about this forever. It's not like it's brand new, but this is the Buxom plumping what is it some full-on lip polish in Celeste I mean who hasn't talked about this and so it looks like this and I don't know why I got it I just thought what the heck I can barely see that it's just a good you know probably topper over 
just about anything. So what's interesting to me is I went to get another one of the Tarte lip paints because I, I liked the ones, I liked TBT so well that it was going to go get, I think, Latergram because I had a liner in Latergram. Well, I didn't see Latergram in there at all as an option. So I thought I would try a different one, and this is the one in FOMO, F-O-M-O. I did not like the one in Hangry. I think the darker shades just don't work on mature lips, more mature lips. So that's FOMO. I've not tried that yet, so I cannot report back. Uh, and then, well, let's, let's do the thing that I have one of before we move on to the thing I have three of. And apparently I was in a blush mood. So I grabbed one of the Becca Luminous blushes. I haven't used any of their, I have their older blushes, but I don't have any of the new ones. And I got the one in Snapdragon. I think I've heard bunches of people talk about this. So I, I have and love Flower Child. And see, this feels more like their normal, their normal formulation. I don't know why, I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to guess. I need to use the ones from the split pans on my face, and then we will have some sort of a discussion about that. But whether it is the same or not, but um, I think it's you can't tell for sure from a swatch. But And then lastly, I don't know. They, they were just pulling these out when I was there. I haven't done this in a long time where I'm like, yes, give me one of those and one of those and one... So, um, the Marc Jacobs new blushes. I have seen a couple people swatch these. I have not heard any reviews on them yet. So, I, I don't know. But I will show you the ones that I picked out as she was pulling them out for me. Alright, so here's the packaging. There's my tripod. It's a beautiful outside. It's supposed to be like 95 today. I don't even know what to do with that. Um, really nice mirror. It's a really nice mirror. Good size. And this is the one in Kink and Kisses. And I'm gonna go just go ahead and mess this up. Let's just go ahead and do that. Her old blush formula I didn't love. I had one and ended up returning it. This is three swipes around and then onto the same, you know, onto the same spot. Lines and last night. More peachy. She wouldn't let me swatch them at the store, by the way, because they didn't have the testers yet. Um, which does not amuse me. So that's that one. Again, that's three swipes. I am already not impressed. But again, this is just on my hand, not on my face. If you guys want me to do my rehaul or my follow-up video on this much more quickly than I normally do because of some of these things, let me know. Oops, sorry, I should have shown you first. Lush and Libido. Okay, that one only took two to get to that. I don't know. I'm less than impressed. All right, so that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Kind of a couple of months worth of things that I have been collecting in a corner and wanted to wanted to go ahead and show you. Um, again, I will have everything linked below for you if you want to check it out. And I will, right at the top of my products I've shown or whatever thing, I'll link the Nordstrom um, Sale Beauty page if you want to check that out because there really are some good things on that site. Like there's another one of those NARS six blush palettes that I really considered, I have to tell you. I really thought about it, but... I don't know. We'll see. It could still happen. There are a couple other things, a couple of lip kits. And so at any rate, um, yeah, I think that's it. On my face today, I have, I would say the same base as I've been wearing, but I did finally use up that Guerlain foundation. And so I've switched that out and I'm still finishing up the MAC Mineralize, but I'm using my Estee Lauder um, Double Wear to mix with that to make it a little more long wearing. Uh, for blush today, I have the Cargo Blush in Tonga. The never ending cargo blush and tanga. On my eyes, I used the natural eyes from Too Faced, and I just used Heaven All Over the Lid. I used this shade right here in the crease. I can't remember what it's called. I used Sexpresso to deepen things up. I used a little bit of Day on my brow bone. I also took that middle shade, which is Silk Teddy, beneath my lower lash line. And on my lips, I have a couple of Armani products. I have the Lip Maestro in number 502. And then to just add a little shine, which you almost can't see anymore because I've been talking for so long, I used the gloss in number 505. So that is my lip combo. And I think that's everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.